So, um, Will Smith slapping Chris Rock's uh, face at the Academy Awards. Uh, was kind of fucked. Well, no, it's not. It's, it's definitely fucked up. And what's so fucked up about it is that um, this guy, Will Smith, gets to be that privileged. Now, I've seen other videos uh, about it, too, where people are saying, well, Will Smith still got the award, and he still got to make that speech and shit. And that is unfair, too. <clears throat> but that's all the proof I need. And that just reinforces my belief in the idea that uh, Brahmins are black, and casteism is black. Casteism is not because Aryans are black. I've said that in uh, previous videos too, that, that I believe Aryans are black. See, Africa is partially in the Northern Hemisphere, like two thirds of it, I think. And um, that's why there's they're, they're this uh, whole conflict. Uh, this land is your land, this land is my land, uh, and that kind of shit. Uh, that, that can go either either way, right? This land is your land, and this land is my land. And, or it can be this land is your land. So, yeah, yeah, that kind of shit. But, um, so yeah, Africa is split. Um, uh, Two-thirds two of uh, Africa is in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, see, we talk about this uh, shift of the tectonic plates. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I mentioned Aryans uh, previously, yeah. so Ar Aryans uh, uh, are supposedly uh, invading uh, what we know as Asia uh, from the north, right? Now, I think that's a euphemism. That the north is just a, uh, just a euphemism, and it's not like Aryans are uh, closer to the North Pole, no. Uh, that's not it. I think Aryans are from the South Pole, or closer to the South Pole. See, um, in the Vedas, Shiva uh, was included, but it's not like Shiva was in there before the Vedas. Shiva was worshipped by the Indus Valley civilization by the name of Rudra. Uh, now, besides that, there's evidence that there was trade between West Africans and... Um, of natives of the Indus Valley civilization. So the West Africans who were trading with the Indus Valley civilization population are possibly the Aryans we know uh, today as uh, the white race. Uh, uh, that's just a theory. The Sentinel, however the Sentinel got to the Bay of Bengal or uh, however the Sentinel got to the Northern Hemisphere and the Sentinel has been there since uh, for as long as uh, well, yeah, the Sentinels have been there uh, since, since the Sentinel got there, and uh, so the Sentinels have just been there for as long as uh, the black race has been here in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, pretty much. So, they're not from the North. I think uh, the reason they say North is, see, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, Africa is split in uh, two different parts of the uh, planet, right? Like the Southern Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere, uh, the majority of the African continent is in the southern hemisphere, but, uh, like, a chunk of it is in the northern hemisphere. Now, Africa is where you have all the wildlife. Excuse me, I'm gonna have to pause this for a second and have to go and get my lighter. And everybody's been there, I don't know it came. First one to go on. Yeah, so Africa is where all the wildlife is. You've got migratory species. Animals migrate across the equator from the southern hemisphere into the northern hemisphere and from the northern hemisphere into the southern hemisphere. And that's how that's supposed to be. The wildebeest, elephants, migratory birds, and whatnot—they're supposed to migrate 
across the equator, but it's not for humans. The humans are not supposed to do that, even if they do that. See, there, 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 there's this concept of Americans, uh, white European settlers were pilgrims in America, and the natives are, well, the Red Indian. Uh, that's not how that's supposed to be. The Red Indian is closer to the African, um, the, the black race. And they're the pilgrims here in the Northern Hemisphere, but the irony is that the whole thing got reversed because of the geomagnetic pole shift. The geomagnetic pole reversal roles have been reversed. This is why Hinduism relies on this doctrine of the triunion. A Hindu will be like, well, I believe in this and I believe in that and I believe in so and so, but if you ask the Hindu, uh, uh, what their thoughts are on the triunion of uh, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, they will not deny it. They won't say, well, no, I don't think the, uh, the, that, that, that's stupid, or I don't think that, that it's a legitimate or something. Uh, I don't think most of them, or I, I think pretty much any Hindu would come out and say, well, yeah, the triunion makes no sense to me, man. Uh, although Shaivas do have this belief in their doctrine that says, well, Shiva is the absolute formless reality. When they say formless, that must mean Shiva is never manifested in the flesh. And if, if, if Shiva is never manifested in the flesh, then Shiva married no homo sapien. Shiva married no uh, daughter of a Brahmin. Shiva married no granddaughter of a Brahmin. Uh, Shiva didn't marry uh, the granddaughter of uh, Brahma, daughter of Daksh, honest Pudra, or mind-born son of uh, Brahma. That didn't happen if Shiva's never really manifested in the flesh. And, and either way, I was talking about wildlife going across the equator. So wildlife is allowed to go across the equator because, well, oh yeah. Wildlife uh, if you look at the ecosystem, uh, the way it's designed, it will lead animals instinctively from one part of the planet to another for various reasons, for breeding, due to uh, change in climate or whatever. But they do this annually or some animals have, well, different cycles. But this happens often, right? But I don't think this has been happening ever since the Great Pyramids were built. Uh, I think there has been some sort of an interference with that animal migration. And, uh, well, it's gotten that bad that now we're at global warming and the ice caps, polar ice caps melting and polar bear dying and all these species disappearing. And that's how bad that interference with nature and the ecosystem has gotten. You know, tectonic plates shifted, right? So we talk about that, and I think 